welcome to our new home. I'm really excited to share the house and the process of building it with you. If you're new here, I'm May. I'm into all things thrifty, simple, intentional, DIY. This video is not my usual DIY sewing project, but as it is going to be the backdrop for my future videos, I wanted to introduce you to my new space. My husband and I just bought our first home after saving for five years. And we waited all these years, we've saved up, we've lived in rentals, we've lived with family members, we've just been looking on Zillow and waiting for something to show up. And we finally decided that a new build was the best option. Basically, it felt like in the current market, we could choose like a 100 year old house that had a lot of charm, but also needed a lot of repairs, or we could get a brand new house built for about the same price. So we decided to lose the charm of a older home Home, but also with that lose the high probability of running into some kind of big repair that needed to be done. A lot of our friends who own older homes are dealing with retrenching for sewage or replacing a roof or a furnace or just these big expenses that come with a house that's really old. We also didn't want to mess with any mold or, or insulation, all that kind of stuff. We just wanted to avoid that for as long as possible. We chose to build with Toll Brothers because of the customization options and we had heard good things from the workers and reviews online. So we began the process of building with them in April of 2023 and our home was done in December of 2023. All in all, about an eight month process from signing to moving in. We were told up front it would be eight to nine months. So we were happy to be in right before Christmas. When we first signed in April, we put a percentage of the home down right then kind of to hold our spot. We had picked out our lot. My audio was being really choppy at this point. I have some photos of me and Miles in front of our dirt lot. I took pictures of him every time he came to visit. And then the first few months was a lot of waiting around for permitting, so nothing super exciting. In May, though, we got to visit the design studio to choose all of our finishes. So this was an eight-hour meeting, four hours and four hours separated by a lunch break. It was kind of intense, really fun, but just a lot of decisions to make on all of the upgrades and if we even wanted to upgrade. So the challenge was like, do we take what is included but not as great or pay extra for something awesome? So in the end, we just decided to go with really simple, modern and sleek. That's just our style in general. And we thought it would look good for a long time. And then at the design studio, once you're done picking out your finishes, you pay 20% of those add-ons. And this is just so if you decide to back out and not sign at the end of the build, they still have the finances to pay for those upgrades. And then someone else can buy that house as a quick move in if they want. If you pull out of purchasing, they will still sell the house with your upgrades in it grades, which was the flooring, the tile in the bathroom. We did some tile in the kitchen and then the cabinets upgraded. But a lot of the things we did were builder included, so they did not cost extra money. We just decided what things were more important for us to have upgraded. During the next little bit, we got updates weekly via text or phone call. I was really pleased with the amount that they communicated with us, but not much was happening due to waiting on permits. So they didn't actually break ground until June. And by then we were stopping by weekly to see all the updates because then we were really moving and we had gotten the permits and the process just was so quick from there. In July, the framing went up, which was really cool to see. It started to feel like this real house. In August, the siding and the drywall went in and the windows went in, which made it feel like an actual house. In September, the house got painted. If you couldn't tell, we love white.
In late September, the cabinets went in and my jaw hit the floor. They were just so beautiful. I loved how they turned out. We picked a really natural stain in a very simple style. They're amazing and so beautiful. In October, our landscaping went in and we got our first little tree. Our vinyl flooring also went in. We got the EVP throughout almost the whole house except for the bedrooms upstairs. Our tile started going in and we got our countertops in our kitchen and our bathrooms. November was a busy month for us. It was Thanksgiving, it was my husband's birthday. We were still dropping by to check up on the house. Our carpeting went in and it's so cozy. We did upgrade that just a little bit from the builder included. Our tile was grouted and it's so beautiful. We got carriage lights outside and lights installed inside the house. We got doorknobs and the front door was put in. Our corbels were installed on the outside of the house. Our house numbers went up, which of course made it feel really real, but I'm not gonna share those with you. Our glass enclosure started getting built around our shower. We got grass and plants in the front yard. On November 29th, we had our new home orientation, and that was when they just kind of walked us through how everything works and when to change things or when to check on things and all the warranties for appliances and such. So that was really cool. It started to feel like this is going to be our home, but still not quite there. Back at our rental, we started packing things up and selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I packed up my sewing studio, which is where Mindful May got its start. I started making reels in there back in 2021 and had so much fun just growing my business, starting in that tiny eight by eight room. I cannot say I'll miss it because it was so poorly insulated. We are on to bigger and better things, but it had its time and place in my heart. On December 6th, which was a Wednesday, we signed our paperwork. There were so many papers to sign. I feel like I forgot how to sign my name after like 15 signatures. On December 7th, we got keys and we got to start moving in. I am moving stuff today. I've taken four loads. But I've gotten a lot of stuff here, basically all the small stuff. And then tomorrow we are borrowing a truck and we're gonna move the rest. Good news, all the plants made it, but it's been really exhausting. It's really exciting though. I'm very grateful to be here. I'm just very tired. I think this is my last load. I've been up and down these stairs more times than I can count. I thought this was so funny. My closet is currently looking like this. Well, my husband has already moved in because he owns just this. Some more of the small stuff that I moved in. We will move in the bed tomorrow with the truck. So we're still sleeping at our old house, which is a bummer because I really want to stay here. But I'm gonna grab a crossword for our last crossword and coffee at our house tomorrow morning on Saturday. So that'll be nice to keep that tradition for the last time and then move in here permanently. We got our couch the second week we moved in and we love it so much. We just decided to get it from Costco because we were going back and forth. Picking out a couch is really hard. We went and sat on some in stores, but they were like $5,000. So settled on a Costco couch and we love it. Really happy with this purchase. Now we've been living in the house for about two months. We love it so much. I try to remind myself to be so grateful every morning that I wake up and every time I get to cook a meal in this beautiful kitchen or sit on this amazing couch in our very spacious living room. We've been married for five years 
years, we have never really had a lot. We've thrifted things, we've been given couches, we were given a bed, and it's just nice to have our own space and our own stuff. And we're taking the remainder of the furnishing really slowly just because buying a house is expensive. So we are going to take it month by month and then get dining furniture and upgrade our bedroom because right now our bed's on the floor. So we made a schedule of rooms to upgrade month by month. So January was curtains in our entryway and then February is going to be our offices. So I'm going to be upgrading my sewing studio, which is really exciting. And then Miles will be doing his work from home office. So now for a little bit of a tour, some friends have been asking Asking, and this is what the space looks like right now. The front door is on my left and you can see the stairs, which are so lovely. This is the office that I will soon move into and furnish. The powder bath on my right. And more of the lovely couch and the curtains we hung. We were so proud of ourselves. We had never hung curtains before. We got a lot of help from my mom. She is just like a master at everything. I'm gonna link her YouTube below because if you just need anything, if you need it organized, if you need any like furniture DIYs or even parenting tips, just like everything household she does. She's the peaceful home, I'm gonna link her below. She helped us do the whole curtain things. We had no idea what we were doing. Someday dining will go here but that's probably gonna be in March. The kitchen is in my top two favorite spaces of the whole entire house. I just love it so much. Having a pantry is so nice. This is gonna be a space that gets updated in the spring. I just wanna get some more like matching bulk bins and get a little more organized in here. The bedroom needs a massive overhaul. It's so simple right now. We've never had a bed frame, so this is just kind of how we live our lives, but I would like to have one soon. And then nightstands and lamps on both sides and maybe a cozy chair in the corner. That's kind of my goal. The bathroom is my second favorite room in the entire house. This avocado tile is so amazing. It makes me smile when I see it, when I get ready in the morning, when I take my shower. It brings me a lot of joy. The bath is so luxurious. I think I've taken one once a week at least since we've moved in. This is my first walk-in closet and I love it. I lost a lot of storage because I sold dressers on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm still kind of working on storage solutions, but I'm happy with it so far. We have laundry upstairs, which I love and just makes so much sense. Put your clothes away on the same floor that you do your laundry on. This is my husband's office, super simple right now and probably will forever be, because that's just how he is. Guest bath is simple and sweet. I made this little curtain for privacy and then the shower bath combo here is perfect for guests. That's pretty much it. The garage is a garage and the backyard is unfinished until the spring, which will be our spring project. We really don't know what to do yet, but we will get to landscaping it later. As you can see, we've got loads more to do, but we're really proud that it's ours. And I'm feeling very blessed to have taken this step into adulthood. So here's to achieving goals, a new year, and lots of Mindful May videos in this beautiful space. Hopefully the next video I share is going to be a before and after of my sewing room with the small budget that I'm gonna have. Stay tuned for that one. See you next time. Cheers.